Hi everybody, it's Coach Williams and I am here to help kickstart your competition robotics season in the Tustin Unified School District. Now, as you can see, we are on the website for TUSD Robotics and we're on the engineering design process page. You will use these menu tabs at the top and there's even more over here from week to week to help you go through the process of building and programming a robot. But we're going to start here with the engineering design process and you will see that the engineering design process is a series of steps that engineers use to help them solve problems. So you're going to use them too. Now we're going to start with define the problem, but before we can define the problem, we actually need to know what the problem is. And so we're going to do research in week one on this problem, which is the new game of the season. Now, every year after the World Championships matches, the new game is revealed for the following year. So the game changes from year to year. So once the reveal happens, we look at the game manual, we watch the video, and we try and figure out what type of robot solutions we can design to solve the problem. And then we will brainstorm ideas and research and develop ideas, and we'll go through these from week to week, and you'll use these weekly videos right here to help you. But I just want to point out that this is not a cycle. You don't go one through nine and end the engineering design process. It's iterative, which there's actually an explanation right below, which means that many of these steps will repeat themselves. So a lot of teams will go from test and evaluate to make improvements and they'll cycle right here and repeat these steps over and over for the majority of their season. Or you might find out after you build your first robot that it didn't work at all when you tested it and you got to go back to research or you got to go back to brainstorm or maybe you go back to a different idea you developed. So you can jump around from step to step. Generally, we go one through seven before we start jumping around. So I'm going to help you take that journey in these weekly videos um, to help you build your robots. Now, we are going to, in this week, really understand what the problem is. And there's two places to get this um, game manual. The first one is this link right here on the engineering design process page. And the next one is on the weekly videos page. And you will see that there's another link right here, the official game manual. So you're going to click on this link and it's going to open up this tab right here, and this is the game for the school year 21-22. But if you're watching this in another year, this game is going to look a little bit different. So this year, the game is called Pitching In. This is what it looks like. And every year, it's always found on the same website address called Current Game. And there's some overview of the game, the scoring, the details, just some overview summaries of the game. But this is what you need to know. The game video is right here and the game manual is right here. So the first thing uh, you wanna do is you wanna watch the game video. Let's see what it looks like uh, live being played. And then you're gonna click on this game manual and you're gonna download a PDF or whatever works for you. So when I click on this, you will see that the game manual opens. And if I wanna download it to my iPad and into an app like Notability or whatever you use to mark up your text to highlight and circle, you're just gonna download with this arrow right here and download it to your iPad or your computer if you're using a computer. And so then you're gonna mark up the test. Now, to mark up the text. So um, I, I'm not gonna go through all the rules because this game is gonna change from year to year, but I just wanna show you the layout of the game manual. So it starts, of course, with the table of contents. There are three sections. Section one is all about the game. Section two is all about the robot and the inspection rules for your robot. And section three is about tournaments and the robot skills event. Now, not everybody has to do a robot skills event. This is only if you are have practiced driving and coding. And this is a separate event off to the side at a tournament. But what we really are gonna need to figure out is how this game is played and what are the expectations of the robot. So let's walk you through this real quick. Um, these are some updates that have happened to the game manual. It's always good to go back to the original website that I shared with you because there will be changes to the game manual as the season uh, moves on, as we need clarification to rules. So here you see section one, this is all about the game. So this is the overview that's also found on the front of that website. You can see what the game field looks like. 
you can see this is the layout. You will see that there um, are two different driver stations. So half the kids, two an alliance, two teams will stand on one side and two teams will stand on the other. It looks like that might be for the uh, robot skills. I'm not sure. We'll have to do, you'll have to read the manual. Um, okay, so let's uh, go through. These are your game definitions. So if you're not sure what an alliance is, it talks about that it's two teams. So if you ever go through the game manual and you don't understand a word, this is your place that you can look up the definitions. You will also see that there will be some um, game specific definitions. So we're talking about the game field elements. So this is a ball that's used on the field. It talks about the size of it in the definition. You also see check marks and X's. This mean, means that this is what it means to be cleared and this is what it does not mean to be cleared. So it's, it's further defining that definition right there. Okay, so here you can see, I think they're talking about the hanging bar. Now each game is gonna be different, but these check marks mean all of these will work. If it's a red X, that means it's illegal and it will not work. So these are all definitions, but they also talk about the game field elements, which is something that you're going to have to uh, learn about. Like, what are the things that you're going to move on the field? Looks like this game has yellow balls that you will be moving and throwing into this uh, or trying to get into the goal. And this talks about what is scored, what's not scored. So you want to look about you're just trying to figure out how to play this game. What does it mean to score? What does it mean to uh, trying to pick up a game field element? Where are you going to start on the field? Where's your starting position? So you're just going to read through this and you're going to circle things. You're going to highlight. And if you're confused, you need to talk about it with a partner or your team or your coach or your whole program. Um, everybody in on all your teams. Maybe you guys have a whole group discussion to talk about what this means. So here's something about scoring. Um, what it means to get five points, two points, hanging robots for 10 points. So you're gonna read through, again, each year this is gonna change, so I'm not gonna go through the specifics. That is your job to figure out all the details of the game. So here's some general game rules. This means that it's as every year these game rules apply, like safety and being student-centered, which means parents and coaches are not allowed to help build your robot. You gotta do it yourself. We will guide you, but you're gonna build your own robot and design it. Okay, so here we have some game uh, th specific to this game, some rules, and I'm gonna let you go ahead and go through this. And we're gonna get to section two here in a minute. Let me keep scrolling down. We're talking about rules, about how the game is played. All of these are rules. There's a lot of rules. So I want you to go through and try and figure them out. Okay, let's see, section two. Now we're talking about the robot. Now your robot needs to be inspected before you play in an official tournament, which means we need to make sure that you're not using too many motors or it's not too big. So these are criteria and constraints. And we're going to talk more about that in week two. Right now, I just want you to read everything and make sure you understand it. So there are three subsystems of a robot. Make sure we're going to do some research on those um, in a bit, but you can only have one robot per team. I'll let you read through this, but um, robots must pass inspection and we're going to get to, we got to have a license plate, got to have a starting configuration. Here is your size constraint. It must be uh, no taller than 15 inches and fit between 11 inch by 19 inch in the starting position. So they will be inspected when you get to a tournament to make sure your robots are the right size. So you're going to read through all of this. If you have any questions, talk about it. Make sure you can understand what the rules mean. Here you only are allowed six VEX IQ smart motors. I'm going to let you do this yourself. Section three is all about the tournament. You don't really need to know this um, unless you're interested in what a tournament is going to uh, look like. The one thing you do want to look at will be the robot skills. If you're interested in competing in the robot skills, here are the rules for that. Okay, so basically you're just going to get to know this game manual. You're going to read through it. You're going to highlight. You're going to circle it because next week we're going to start to define the problem. So all of your work this week and understanding of the game is going to help you define the problem next week. All right. Good luck. I'll see you then.